Hey, it's Mark, RPM Tesla. We've got our Cybertruck in the house set up with the camp mode, and we are going to be showing you some new products today, carbon fiber products. So base camp is set up. We've got our new powder-coated wheels on with our carbon fiber glossy center hubs. So right now we've sold about a thousand of these hubs in solid matching satin black plastic. We're coming up with our new release on the carbon fiber. Carbon fiber is great. We're making mirror caps in carbon fiber. And if you've deleted your mirrors or deleted your windshield wiper, we've got two new products today for you. And what we have is this. We have the base carbon fiber applique or overlay that's going to sit right here under your windshield wiper corner. And we have a cap. So if you've taken your windshield wiper off, and a lot of people do it for events, car shows, or if you have good weather like we have in California and you don't see a lot of rain, this is a great cap that will fit right in to the plastic base or right into the carbon fiber. So we're going to show you how to do this installation next, and uh, let's get to it. Okay, to install either of the items, whether it's just the cap or it's the base overlay, you're going to have to remove the windshield wiper. So we're going to show you how easy and simple it is. And again, all you need is a 19 millimeter socket and um, we're gonna take it off and then put it right back on. So let's get started. First thing is remove the cover. So there's a cover at the base of the wiper that just unsnaps. And you just shake it loose, vibrate it loose. And that is the cover that covers up the bolt and the wiper fluid tubing. Okay, next thing is you release the tubing by just uh, pulling it out of the center of the locking nut, or it's just a 19 millimeter nut. Just release that and get it out of the way. You can push it through. And again, now we're gonna use our 19 millimeter socket and loosen up the wiper. And again, you have to do this for either of the products installation. And uh, then we're gonna show how clean it looks after, as we usually keep our wiper off um, just for that clean look. All right, now, to release the wiper, you have to push down on the arm, making it level, and then wiggle it back and forth, and then the spring-loaded end will release it. Okay, so now we have the base. So at this point, if you wanna drive around without your wiper on, it looks terrible. So this piece snaps right in. You just put it right on top and push it down. And then we're gonna put this one on first. Um, and again, that's a carbon fiber solid piece. It'll look great. It's not gonna leave a hole in your windshield. Um, and now what we're gonna do is install the overlay first, since this is the way we want our model to look. So we clean it really good with alcohol, get all the grease off oil, anything you may have on there that's going to impair the bonding of this to it. And then it's just gonna fit right on the top. We're gonna to peel off the backing tape here. This is 3M VHB backing tape, uh, double-sided tape. So just pick a corner, release it. Also, uh, you may wanna test fit it first because once this backing tape comes off, uh, it's yours. Uh, it's not returnable, not resellable, and it's considered to be used. So here you can see how it's going to fit perfect. It's going to fit right down in the groove. It's going to fit right along the side fender. And uh, once you know you like it, take the tape off, clean it, prep it, and we'll do the installation. So peel the corner back, pull it all off. And again, alignment is just a straight down issue where you want to be looking at it straight overhead, line it up, make sure it's fitting perfect, and then apply pressure. And again, like all of our products that hold on with double-sided tape, it's uh, activated with pressure, pressure-sensitive adhesive, PSA. So just push, push, push. And then we're going to install the actual cap. Now we have four teeth on here and the teeth reach through obviously the carbon area 
and they reach all the way down through the stock piece. So here we're gonna apply some pressure, maybe line it up to make the patterns the same so it matches, and then just push straight down, and it'll lock itself in. A little bit of a tap, and there you are. All right, so we got before, a giant windshield wiper, and after. Looks kind of like an antenna, maybe. A uh, little nub, like a uh, serious antenna, probably. And it uh, looks great. So we love it. It's going to look really nice um, with the side view mirrors, more carbon fiber accents coming, real dry molded, hand laid carbon fiber, fender liners, lots of great products coming out soon. Thanks again for watching. And these will be in stock. And we will offer them in glossy or matte finish, of course. But it looks great. It fits great. Here's some more close-ups. You can see how it fits completely around the perimeter. It's flush with the glass. And uh, it sure makes it look nice. And we're leaving the windshield wiper off. Okay, now, if you're not buying the protruding tip end or the cover, and you're going to put the wiper back on, and you just want to buy the carbon fiber accent, here's how you do it. Um, so, again, you want to lay it up on the windshield and make sure it's completely vertical. And again, you don't want to have to remove it by moving it over on the spline or the teeth. So make sure it's completely straight going up the glass. And then you're going to bend it in the middle. And then the nut and the post will poke right through, just like that. Then we're going to tighten the nut, put this back on, and then the cover back on. So it should be very easy to do. Uh, we don't need to do the whole installation because... Um, once you put the nut on, you thread it all the way down. As long as your wiper's in the right position, you're not going to come down too far and hit the hood. Okay? So remember, the wiper's going to turn. It's 45 degrees, roughly. So make sure you start it all the way straight and vertical. You'll have no issues. And uh, we hope you enjoy the carbon fiber under windshield wiper base mount. Mirror's coming out soon.